Boys, we gotta talk about something. So, Adis just released a newest update. This is uh, November 7th, 2024. Um, on the right here, you see the maintenance notice, and we're gonna talk about what they did that I don't like at all. Um, there is a main rule in Gacha, from what I understand, is that you don't touch player currency in a negative way, um, especially along with standing currencies that are available to every single player in the game. The adjustments to the Arc 1 main story quests is a massive blow to every single player that starts the game from here on out. Um, they might not know it. They actually have no idea because, you know, they wouldn't have known what, what they had before. This is a massive issue that I think needs to be addressed. Um, it is definitely screwed up on this one. So let's go through the uh, main notice. So the content adjustments, reduction to the number, reduction of the number of main story quests in Arc 1. Battle only quests reduced in Arc 1. However, the follow items will not be deleted. Quests that are required to be cleared to progress to the Monster Collector's Manor or other secret game elements and quests that unlock features. Fine. Quests with stories, free quests, and quests and conversations during battle. Sure. Those are pivotal to the story itself. Quests with hints and then hard and god difficulty quests. Now, this last point here, the hard and diff god difficulty quests, those will not be touched at all. It's just the normal story mode. Um, their entire goal of this adjustment is to get players into Arc 2 faster. That's where the main story is happening right now. That's where the updates are happening right now. But the question is why? Um, is Arc 1 really that much of a slog? Because A, yes, it might take a while. But B, story quests are one of the main resources used by every player beginning the game to get gems to pull on the gacha. So removing them is a huge issue if they're not replaced with other sources or they're not, you know, they're not distributed between other sources. Unfortunately, they decided to not put those sources anywhere. So we're going to go over um, just to see what they did. So let's go into the world map. Um, and we can tell immediately the difference between the quests and that they've moved and, and whatnot. So, Gragia Mountains is a main place where a lot of people have been farming uh, on hard mode, IGZ3, I'm here at Command 3. That's a very common one way stage to farm. And as we can see, there's a ton of quests in here. Uh, this, this hard mode is, is super long in this, in this node. Um, but if we go back to normal mode, which would be the same amount of quests, substantially less. And the problem here is that each of these quests gives 110 gems. We're going to a different note. Let's go over here. Um, let's try Caldina Ruins. Lot there. Not as many. I mean, definitely more. New, those are cut. Um, let's go to... Not Blue Town. Granite Lands. Two quests in normal. Substantially more normal and hard. This is what normal push it should have been. So you guys can just tell there's a substantial amount of quests dropped. Now... Let's talk about the total number of gems you could get previous to this update. So, l thank you, Lake, for you know giving me the information because he data mines the game and knows exactly what quests are there and, and what quests have how many gems or whatnot. For a total summary of gems between Arc One, Arc Two, Normal, Hard, God Mode, all the free and sub quests, every again gem in the game linked to story at this point, there's 235,500 gems. In Arc 1 Normal, which is the one we're looking at specifically, Arc 1 Normal had 56,290 gems to it. So you could join this game, grind up the entirety of Arc 1 Normal, um, and get 56,000 gems for it. Amazing. Love it. The problem is, is that now they've removed 259 quests from Arc 1 Normal. 259. The problem with that is that that is 29,040 gems. Now, for your veteran players who have already grinded all this out, it doesn't really affect us at all. The problem is, is that it affects every single new player that joins the game from here on out. Every single new player joins the game will have no idea that the previous players, before this update, will have had an extra 29,040 gems of grindable currency to get before you get to arc two. 
that massively impacts your ability to start out with a good account. Um, overall, it just inhibits, that's almost 10 multis worth of pulls. Um, that's a substantial amount of gems. Now I will say, it doesn't look as bad, in my opinion, if you look at the total number of gems still in the game. For all of story now, even though there was 29,000 removed, essentially, there's still 210,000 at this point to get. I mean, Arc 1, Arc 2, Normal Heart, God Mode Free, and Subquests. Still a lot. But the biggest issue with that I have this is that you don't touch. Free to play currency, grindable currency, one-time currency for players that need it. Um, and by players that need it, I mean new players that are grinding their, their ass off in story. This was the most substantial way to get gems when you're first beginning, your first clear rewards. To remove 259 quests, to remove 29,000 gems from the pockets of every player from here on out, it's they're pulling the rug under them. They're pulling, they're pulling some kind of wacky shit here, to be honest with you. Um, their reasoning that they give, they want players to get into Arc 2 faster, I get that. But what they could have done was push those gem rewards somewhere else. That was our hope, was that they would touch normal mode, but they would push those gems into other quests or boost the gem rewards from other quests to even it out. Because they have to know that. You don't touch the gem currency of long withstanding sources or new players. Um, they have to know that. Really? I mean, I, I, I hard believe that they would have to understand that you don't do this to piss off other people who know the truth, right? New players who are not involved in the you know, community wouldn't have known any different. Um, they'd be like, oh, this is normal. This is normal. The problem with that is that we know it's not. And I feel like something should be said. Um, that's why I'm making this video. I feel like everyone deserves to know this, that they're pulling the, the rug from out from under you, essentially. So if you guys make like reroll accounts and stuff, um, if you guys try a new account, you're basically short 29,000 gems than what you had before this update. Um, now I really do hope this gets out there. I really hope they can, you know, fix this somehow. I don't. I. It's not a bug. This is this is an intentional move. This this notice was about a month ago. It's not over that. So keep that in mind. Um, this is intentional. They. Gave us the notice to let us know that we should grind these out before we lose them. The problem is every single person who joins the game afterwards will not have done that and will not have been able to do that. And we'll be short 29,000 gems for the entirety of their gameplay. So I think this is bullshit. I think they should um, respond to this. I think they should absolutely get blasted a little bit and have to have a little redemption arc here. Because as much quality of life as they've done lately, as much positives and steps forward they've taken in the game, they take huge steps back. This is a huge step back that involves player currency, player pools. This is a gotcha game, man. I understand the bottom line. You know that they're favoring their bottom line here. They want you to spend money to get gems. So taking away gems, I get it from a business standpoint. The problem is, to do it in such a ridiculous way of, you know, we want people to get to arc two faster, but and in the in the, you know, they're helping us to get there faster. They've taken away a massive source of gems. You guys, again, spread the word. Um, I don't love this at all. I, I think this is ridiculous. I think they need to get blasted for this a little bit. Um, yeah, appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next one.